Hey there, it's Jennifer at Navigation Bookkeeping Solutions. I just wanted to go over a few things. I have some clients that get several bills from their clients and want to pay, let's say, four or five bills all at the same time. Instead of cutting checks every time you receive a bill or sending payments every time, you want to put them all together, do it in one shot. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first of all, you'll want to, um, we're going to be using this demo and using Norton Lumber as the bill we're going to pay. But if you're on your dashboard and you're just here and uh, your business is Craig's Design and Landscaping Services and we want to input some bills, you would just go under New and under Vendor, you're going to hit Bill. And from there, you would be able to enter the information from the bill that you've received. So in this case, it'd be Norton is who we're going to be using. Um, and it will automatically populate all the information that you've already put in for that particular vendor. Uh, you'd be able to change the terms, uh, the bill date, and that would automatically pull up the due date. Okay. Um, and then you'd enter any of the items or things that you're purchasing from them. Uh, so you can have that in your system and then you would hit save. Okay. Uh, so let's say you've done that for a few. I'm going to just leave without saving. And now you're ready to pay bills. So if you go under expenses and it's going to show you, um, the bills that you have outstanding right now, here they all are. These are all the different bills, but we're just going to worry about one thing. So I actually, uh, my favorite way to go in and see that is if I just say new and I want to pay bills right here under vendors, the plus new is the easiest little button to get to where you want to go. Um, so here I want to pay my Norton lumber and building. Okay. Uh, so I would be able to say, depending on how you want to pay this, if you're sending a check, if you're using your um, card and doing it through um, QuickBooks payments or Milio or some other um, thing that's out there, you'd be able to do that. So if I'm like, okay, I want to pay Norton, let's, let's pay all the Nortons. Then I would be able to click on all the different Nortons and scroll down. We've got three here. And it will populate what's due on your open balance. See 205 here, 205. You can change that. Let's say you had an issue with that particular invoice and with an item number and you only wanted to pay 100 of that. You could change that right here to say, hey, I just want to pay 100 on that particular bill. Okay. And then down at the bottom, it's going to show you uh, the open balance for those three that you've checked. So for Norton, it's saying, well, this is how much they're saying that you owe them. But this, we're saying here, this is what we are actually going to pay, 1510, okay? And, and it will show you what the account balance is if you're leaving something out or uh, if there's other um, maybe bills in there for Norton that you uh, haven't paid. But we're saying, hey, right now, 1510 is what we actually want to pay, okay? So you can, if I click the arrow here, you could just hit save. Or we could do save and close, or you could schedule payment um, and do, uh, let's say, a QuickBooks payment or Milio and do it that way. You're able to do that, okay? Um, I would just hit save if you're sending a check. And then, well, I'm sorry, you would change here if you were doing a check. So you're saying, okay, we're doing from checking and we want to put it as, you know, whatever next check is in your register, uh, you'd be able to do it that way. Or again, if this is something that you're just going to be doing through whatever card you have hooked up through the QuickBooks system, you could do that. Okay. And then you would just hit save or schedule payment for the case of a credit card and do that here. So uh, I'm just going to do it again as a check, leave it at that. Um, checking, you know, let's say we're going to do check number 1000 and, um, you know, Tell it we're going to print it later if you have checks that are going to be going in through your printer. But if you're manually checking it, you're good there. And then you just say save. And then at that point, they disappear from your uh, bills to be paid, uh, with the exception of the one that we did a partial payment on. So they're still showing a balance open there. And you could pay that at any time. So again, I just wanted to go over that with you so you could see how does that work. 
Uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, but there's my little demo. Thanks so much. Have a good one.